hey folks, DC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for stopping by and spending some time here. Today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, you may notice this is not Sussex Farm. In fact, this is another map by Alien Jim, the map maker of Sussex Farm. This is Spectacle Island. And I thought we'd just have a little tour around, because it is quite a neat little map. Now, here on the main farm... Um, the idea being with this one, it's supposed to be quite run down. Um, everything needs a bit of work before it's of any use to you, pretty much. I mean, not everything, obviously. We've got full animal facilities and that sort of thing. There's, you know, working sheds. And, but there's a lot of debris and stuff scattered around, which... Too heavy. Oof, am I ever wussy? How about the garbage bag? There we go. We can at least pick up our garbage. And, you know. Um... Some of the things that differentiate it, other than just being, um, well, islands, is it is season-ready. It is also, um, as I said, it's divided up into islands. You own a lot of fields to start with, but they're not really usable, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Here's our sheep facility. Very nice. Very nice. Always like lush green areas for the woolly crunchies. This is where we live. Not a not a bad looking place. I mean, uh, you know, she's a bit run down, but heck, so am I. Ooh, <laughs> giant gold nugger, nugget nuggers. <laughs> giant gold nugget is everywhere. There's giant gold nuggets in my house, but the furniture ain't worth a dime. Yo, that's a beauty of a couch, man. That's like Fallout 4 material, <laughs> that thing. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, you do get a, well, a house, albeit not terribly functional. Man, if we collect enough gold, we'll be able to buy some new furniture. All right, well, let's start with the... Uh, what? They won't let us fix the... Oh, this isn't Farmer's Dynasty. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, we have a suitably disgusting house. Our grass needs mowed. I just... I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just a lazy farmer. All right, so... Oh, what the heck? I must have just stepped over a big pile of them or something. Huh, didn't even see it. All right, so we have our facilities here. We've got a workshop so that you can uh, maintain uh, your vehicles and, of course, customize them and all that happy Farm Sim 17 goodness. We've got more than suitable storage for our quick mount. And a fair chunk of equipment to go with it, by the way. Ooh, don't usually get to start with something as fine as the big JCB, but there you go. Oh, with wheel weights, just the way I like it, too. All right. So, we got sheep to the right of us, pigs to the left, and we're stuck in the middle. Oh, that's different than that. And then the cow facilities, everything to go along with it. Here's our grainage. Or not. Okay, apparently those are... Oh, here we go. <laughs> For a minute there, I couldn't figure out where we were supposed to dump it in. But we got these old... Yeah, too heavy. I really got to adjust that. Um, get all that junk in the way. There's our silage pit. So, yeah, an interesting main farm. Fairly usable. Um, you know... A little bit of scruffy in the way, but that's okay. Um, I suppose what I should buy myself here is... Rum! <laughs> clean up all the bushes okay anyway so yeah this is uh here's the rest of our storage here up behind the pigs and there's certainly lots of room as i said fairly generous with the uh the equip them all yeah i guess this is what powers it all excellent and here we go we can get a little bit of a look 
it's uh, very, very cool. Our meadow's across there, so we need to uh, use a really skinny lawnmower, I guess, to go across the, uh, the footbridge. But let's grab ourselves a vehicle and go for a wee blast about the place, because there are some interesting things going on, some of which I'm not 100% sure of but others which make considerable sense. Now, much like the uh, World Challenge map, as I said, our fields are not exactly... well... sweet, sweet, user-friendly. At least, not yet. So, I'll show you what I mean. We'll go down to our closest fields here, which is field 11, which conveniently enough has this ginormous woodworking equipment in the middle of it. Yeah, this is field 11. As you can see, she's not in great shape. So, what are you? I almost feel like foraging again. This has got a really fallout kind of thing going on here. Arr! And, uh, so yeah, the idea being, of course, before you can do anything with a field, you have to, uh, well, fieldify it can see I guess at one point this used to be a grain field but we've got I don't know some sort of dead sticks here we've got lots of timber uh, here's the outer edge of the field right here so yeah you sort of have to uh, do the world challenge thing where you're gonna end up having to uh, clear up fields before you're able to use them if we look at the big map and actually have it on the map page you can see what's going on now we do own several fields here nice silly gold nuggets I wish I hadn't stumbled across that pile they just clutter up the map so much um, they're all basically that way you need to fix them before you can use them so yeah sale points we do we do quite a few actually and uh, Teddy's Double Straw, Tarkin Sawmill. Hmm. <laughs> Which buys? Which chips? Okay. So yeah, typical uh, typical set of sales points. But again, yeah, this is sort of the uh, the feature thing. Is this place is run down to the point where you really have to. Uh, start from just about Zippo to get it going. Um, well, we'll go up here first because it's a bit of a smaller area. And up here we have... These old buildings are really quite intriguing. I'm glad he left the doors off them. They're just neat as heck to look around in. <laughs> hmm. I kind of like this nicer than the house they started us in, to be honest with you. At least somebody bothered to get the... Uh... Man, that's some tile work, isn't it? Oh, kitchen. Well, that's handy, because when you live in a place, it's always good to know what rooms are used for what. Huh. That's just outstanding. Man. Ooh-wee. What's this? Spectre Estate, 1682 to 1834. Hmm. Interesting, eh? I wonder what the, uh, the backstory is on Spectre Estates. Huh. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, looks like we've got a couple of beehives. Yeah, they are functional, so they'll be generating us a little bit of money. All right, well, uh, yeah, definitely a couple of functional greenhouses here. Looks like a tomato and a lettuce. Very cool. And then in here we have Vicus, which I guess is a sale point. Here's another of our fields, field 15 rather an odd shaped thing but again I mean you make it whatever shape you want to right we could go from tiny little fields to uh, 
great magnificent tracts of land but uh, yeah and down here we have Vicus which I believe is a poop and sailing place and you know yeah so uh, hmm. with menu error here oh, it looks like a buy and a sell perhaps well, nothing shows up in the F1, but assume with two of them, one must be a buy and one must be a sell, but there's one if you can buy it from one and sell it to the other. <laughs> and what do we got here? Oh, a huge pit of slurry. Lovely. Okay, again, nothing shows up in the F1 HUD, so... Hmm, alrighty. So that would be our slurry sale, I believe. Let's have a look. Vickis. Yeah, Vicky's slurry and Vicky's manure. Alrighty. Whew, 21k for a pallet of wool. Man. <coughs> Excuse me. Sheep are just the thing on this map, aren't they? They are the thing. All right. So that's Vicky's. Hey, Vicky. Way to, way to run a rundown farm. I like that house, though. That's cool. <laughs> I could spend a lot of time just exploring abandoned buildings. All right. So now that we've seen Vicky's, let's go. Uh, that's the way we came. Come on now. Now uphill, or uphill, up here, we have what's called Beacon Hill. One of my favorite parks when I lived in Victoria, BC, Beacon Hill Park. But I don't imagine this is this, oops, I should probably slow down. I'm just flying from hump to hump. This is actually a sail point. There we go. And as we can see once again, if we look, Beacon Hill. They buy sugarcane because the map is sugarcane enabled. Of course, they also buy all the other grains too, but you know. Uh, sugarcane enabled, seasons enabled, if you want to play seasons. The bane of YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, I still really like it, and I think it's the way to play it. More realistic than seasons all the way, but it is, uh, can make for a wee bit of a long time. Specter Hector, oh man, you haven't lived till you've done Specter Hector. No idea, guys. <laughs> None. <laughs> Alright, so. Here we are. Spectre Hector. Now, Spectre Hector is just another sail point. As we can see. Spectre Hector buys darn near everything, man. They ain't proud. You got it, we buy it. As long as it is a grain and it is not a grain we don't want which is all of them, so there you go. But yeah, they buy uh, much like the other green places. Which brings us to the next kind of interesting point, and this is the first one I'm not sure of. Now, I look at this, and it screams to me that what we need is a source to buy dirt and sand. Um, I'll show you what I mean here. If we go down here, you'll see we've got LPS Grains and Spectre Hector. Well, LPS Grains is... <laughs> way to go with the hedgerows there, Jim, buddy. <laughs> As you can see from the sign, it's over there. Now, there's these. And I don't know, are they just to mark what once was a flooded road? Or do we dump sand here? You know, sand or gravel or whatever the heck it is, and make this a road. Because there's a few of these, and you'll notice how much shallower that is between the posts. And as we get over here, sorry, I'm swimming as fast as I can, guys. It's not my strong suit. We will find...
LPS screens. Hmm, but not down here, interestingly enough. It's actually up the hill. Along with a good number of our other fields. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, sorry we're on foot, but obviously I couldn't. Uh, so here's LPS Greens. Obviously I couldn't bring my uh, truck across. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, here's field 19. This is another of the fields we own. And then field 18 beside it. So we basically, I mean, we own this entire island. But again, <laughs> it, it is, as you can see, what we really own is a bunch of uh, trees and grass. And not there's anything wrong with trees and grass. Lord knows you can make good money from trees and grass. But, uh, where, oh where... All right, we're more or less heading straight at it now. Hmm, where's the sawmill that was supposed to be up here? Oh, 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 that's across another bridge yet. Okay, and is in fact thus a ways. Let's just cut back down the hill here, save us going all the way around. Alright, now... Well, of course I'm going to walk up here. <laughs> Again, sorry I can't take a vehicle here, but doesn't appear to be the way things are. Huh, supposed to be a nugget right here. Bonk. Oh, it must be under the bridge. Really? <laughs> are this fish? Can't be. Anyway. Nah, it's just from the wiggly of the water. Makes it look like there's fish there. I just need to go fishing. We're seven weeks into the fishing season now, and I haven't been yet. <laughs> I guess I have no ride, and it sucks. All right, so here we are on yet another island. I don't know if all these islands have names, but... But... Okay. Sealy Pea Farm, Tarkin Sawmill, and Teddy's Double Straw. All right. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't too far away. And I believe this is all just forestry. It's not counted as any particular fields. So, ah, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, sometimes shortcuts are just not that much quicker. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Well, it's a big facility. No, it is just a cell point. All right, there you go. Ah, oh, here it is right here. So there you are. It's uh, a cell point for wood chips, basically. Um, certainly enough room. And here we can sell logs. Certainly enough room to put in a... Uh, a working sawmill if you wanted to, but I don't know that there's much point. Huh. I guess you can... Uh, I don't know, maybe this isn't a functional one. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Alright, I think to save us some walking here, let's... um. 
Okay, we're currently up here. So, I mean, you can drive. As you can see, the long, long, long way around. Or, you gotta figure out what's going on here. Hmm. So I think what we'll do at this point is head back the other way and I'll show you a few of the other things on the island here. This little truck really whips along. <laughs> She's a bit much, man. Alright. So, we'll just go past our Fonzie Fields. I almost, uh, I think this, this map is a little more my style. As opposed to the, uh, well, I don't know, rather formal style of the Sussex map. I don't know if that's a good descriptor, if you guys are just going, what the heck is he on about now? But, you know, now down here, this is kind of cool. And this is where I'd actually put a sawmill. This is ours. See? So, I guess if you bring logs down here... Uh, okay, I guess this is just the cell point here. Hmm. That's too bad. I thought you'd get to, like, dump them off and then... Well, maybe we can. Is this crane workable? No. Aw. Dude. Why didn't you make it workable then to sell them instead of tipping them here? We could have had to pick them up and drop them in there. That would be cool. But yeah, this would be an interesting place for a sawmill. But the proper one, you know? Certainly got the room. Hmm. I'm not sure if I even have said... Pl oh, no, I don't think I included anything, did I? No, no, not at all. But what do we got here? Um, oh, that'll be about the same size. Just to see if they'll allow it. Ah, see, that's... Yeah. <laughs> really too bad. Really too bad. That would have been nice if we could have put a placeable down there. Hmm. Well. So up on this end of it, we've got a shed with some storage, and then we've got this, this footbridge. And yeah, I guess you definitely have to do something, because this is the only one that connects it to our island, and our island doesn't connect to that other one. So I guess you actually do. Ah, here's our meadow. Oh, it's nice and clear. You certainly get a big meadow. Look at that. Again, we can't actually get to it at the moment. Wow, this is quite the bridge. <laughs> Now, we own this field. This, in fact, is 
field one, and there's our combine to prove it. Here's the Sealy P farm. See some very basic. You get a water place, a little bit of storage. Huh. Fuel possibly. And then we've got our other pickups here and a trailer and tractor. And a silo. But as I say, I don't know. Yeah, see there's no other connector to these except that footbridge no i'm sorry but i don't think we're going to be able to get any of this stuff back across including the fact that our combine is over here <laughs> so i mean we can get it to the island beside our place. See, it's the same thing with the shop. The only thing actually connecting us to the shop, if we go there, <clears throat> you know what I mean? The only thing connecting us to the shop is that little footbridge by G1. So, I'm pretty sure that a person needs to... Uh, We got a place there to sell chickens. So yeah, I think you uh, you're pretty much in a position where you have to uh, have to build those roads. Now we're just gonna buy ourselves a cheap truck here. Let's go with a different color this time, just so we can tell it apart. There we are. Oh, actually, I think we need to go that way. So there are a couple of cell points here. This is basically your, uh, your wharf. And if we find our way out of here, here's our little village. People stomping around everywhere. Alright. If we head over here, we've got this large construction site. But I don't really see any sort of uh, hmm, weird. Um, I don't really seem to be on the map anymore. Um, see, I thought maybe this was a place that you would purchase said dirt. To fill in those roads, but it doesn't uh, doesn't particularly appear to be. Now, unfortunately, with all the uh, nuggets marked on this map, it's almost impossible to figure out where anything else is. Um, like, I want to see if there's a tip point anywhere on here. Or a pickup point, but yeah, I really don't uh, can't see a darn thing except for markers for nuggets. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, there's just a pang load of them here. Let's go to uh, 
I don't see anything here that uh, but these are only buy points right they don't list sale points so but there's certainly nothing there that shows it but I mean there there has to pretty much there has to be a way to be able to uh, fill those roads this is the only thing I've seen that even looks close but as I say there's no marked uh, Nope, that's not functional. There's no marked pickups or drop-offs or anything else like that here, so I'm probably just making it up. But, again... Now, the BGA bunker is down this way go with a little tiny silo place to dump all the usual amenities just in the miniature and there's our nice meadow again and as I said I don't think we can actually get back to our own island because uh, well this just ain't going to fit down the footbridge, man. And once you're over here, well, the only place we can get to is the next one over. So, but there you go, guys. I think that's pretty much a little look at it. As I said, I'm... Uh, so these are all the fields we don't own <laughs> and as you can see they are pretty much pristine they're ready to go now uh, while we're here though i will uh, just get us an idea of pricing as i do when we do these fields missions are enabled as well by the way as you can see we could uh, cut this down for them and make us 31 grand wow all right um Wow. <laughs> okay, they really discourage you from just uh, blowing off your own fields and coming over here and buying these. All right, they're half million dollar fields. So, okie dokie. I do like this map. I really do. As I said, I think I would have almost uh, have preferred starting this one. It does have your, you know, most horrible of horrible, the, uh, the hedgerow. But, there we go. What do we got here? Teddy's Double Straw. Now, how could you not pay a visit to Teddy's Double Straw? There you go. A place to sell all your straw needs. Oops. Eh. Rub the rock wall. Nice change from hedgerows. <laughs> <My goodness. laughs> and, yeah. That uh, pretty much just projects you onto the third island. Which is, uh, again, we've been here. This is the one that's got all our fields, but... Then they're not fields full of nice sellable trees either. This one isn't. This is a... Uh, completely different animal. These trees are a pain in the bum to cut up and do things with. So yeah, this takes us down to the sawmill, which we've been to. And we've got the big bridge that takes us across to the last island, and that's where we get stuck. So there's, as I said, there must be a way to complete those last roads, because otherwise, well, you don't end up completing the loop, do you? Because once we're over here, that's the end of the road. There is no way off of this island, except for roads that don't yet exist. See? Spectacle Farm. Well, that's where we live, and it's down here. 
Hooray! We're going to Spectacle Farm. Hooray! We're on to Spectacle Farm. Yay! We're... Oh. Can I actually get across? Look, look. Okay, maybe you don't have to fill it in. Hey! And we're home. Now hopefully that actually allows all of your vehicles to do that. Hmm. Well, there you go. But I think that's going to be pretty much a good look at the, uh, the Spectacle Island map. Again, by Alien Jim, the same uh, fine map maker who has made Sussex Farm that we've been all enjoying for the last couple of weeks. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little map review. If you did, well, make sure you leave a comment and tell me how many things I missed, how poor a job I did, and, uh, you know, all the usual hubbub hubbub. So, there we go, folks. We're out of the truck. Spectacle Island, Alien Gym, available on the Mod Hub. Download it, play it, do it now. <laughs> Ciao for now, folks. Talk to you later.